Hi, my name is Walker Boys, and today I'm gonna to be going over how to do my hand embroidery kit, The Moth. It's part of my winged creature series, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, we're gonna start by opening the box. And in the box, you're gonna get a little package <clears throat> with a hoop, the fabric and thread, and the color and direction guide to finish your piece. When you open the packet, you're gonna get the thread and a needle, it's a size 22, and the fabric pattern to complete the piece. Now, first we're gonna start by loosening up the hoop and centering the piece and making sure the fabric is nice and tight. And then you're ready to start getting embroidering. First, we're gonna start out by grabbing our orange color and following the color and direction guide, you're gonna see where to place the orange and it's gonna be a satin stitch around the body. And then we're going to move on to the wings, really making sure that the stitches are very tight. We're going to the outer edge of the left wing and the outer edge of the right wing. And then we're going to move on to the yellow thread and we're going to start with a little antennas and these are also going to be very tight small satin stitches and the inner of the wings and the little dots on the upper and lower wings We're gonna kind of finish off the bottom half of the wings, not blending the yellow and orange together. And then we're gonna move on to the salmon red color and we're gonna start with the top of the piece and do the head first. And then we're gonna do the center of the body and kind of build on the top upper half of the wings and the outer edges the satin stitch and we're not blending them together the red and the orange and a really tight satin stitch on the bottom half of the wings and then we're going to grab our light pink color and blend it in with the yellow stitches and these are quarter inch to half inch stitches and you're going to kind of go a couple centimeters into the yellow to create that blended look Makes it look clean and natural. And we're gonna do satin stitches on the outer edges of both the bottom and the top wings. And to finish off the piece, we're gonna grab the green thread and kind of fill in the rest of the piece. This entire piece is made of satin stitches, so no need to uh, try running stitches anywhere. finish off we're going to do a satin stitch on the outer edge of both the t upper and lower wings and here's a close-up detail shot of the finished piece it's ready to hang thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed <laughs> 